One of the challenges the center helps people overcome is changing their names. Names, as we know, are important. They are our first introduction to other people, and the legal process to do this can be, well, intimidating, to say the least. Alex Corona, the trans transgender program coordinator with the Milwaukee LGBT Community Center, joining us now. And thank you, Alex, for joining us. What is this process like that's so intimidating to get your name changed to what you feel it should be? Hi, Steve. Thank you so much for having us and highlighting the, our work and this important um, process for trans people. As you said, uh, your name is like a stamp of your identity. And in Wisconsin, you have to file a, a $200 uh, petition. You have to publish in the newspaper publicly three times that you are trying to change your name and you have to attend a court hearing as well. And then there's like a lot of other documents and fees and agencies that you have to operate with. And it's almost impossible to do without a lawyer. Okay, so why is it so important that this service is provided by the community <laughs> center? How are you helping people? There are so many people who never thought that this would be possible, that they had to carry their old name, which was a wonderful gift and it served them for so long, but they had to carry that as a burden for years. So this is such a weight off of your shoulders. Um, seeing everything match up to your ID, to your bank card, to your mail, to how you're, uh, you know, you get your check stub. Um, all of that confirms who you are and that affirms that the world and uh, legal um, agencies also see you as who you are. So it's it's so, 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 so crucial. One of the things we've heard from people who have who've been down this road in generations past is they like to say it gets easier. Let me ask you, is it getting easier? Um, I do not know if it's getting easier for um, people that are figuring out the system and people that are figuring out allies in the system to help them. It is getting easier, but I don't think that uh, the way that our legislation is set up, that it is getting any easier for us to get things done. I don't think that uh, we are in the clear yet, um, as you know, that there is a lot of anti-trans legislation. So as much as we have Pride Month and celebrations, there's also a large uphill battle to keep fighting, to uh, keep our people safe and to keep us affirmed. So I don't think it's getting easier, but um, when there are more people helping and then there is a lot more work in the center has given so much money and raised so much money because they know how important this is. The name change is about $400 a person. And that might not seem like a lot, but with someone who doesn't have a job because of yeah. their gender identity, it's really hard. All right, we're gonna put the information for the center up for everyone to access. Alex, thank you for what you do and thank you for spending some time talking with us. Today. Happy night, Steve. If you need more information about the center's name change workshop, any other resources the center offers, we'll have a link to their website at tmj4.com slash links. We are back after this.